بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز وی آر وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو آر ڈسکشن آن دا ٹاپک یوز کیلکولیٹ ٹو مینوپولیٹ فلٹرس ان دا پریویس پارٹس وی ہیڈ اے لک ایٹ کیلکولیٹ اینڈ ہاؤ دا ڈفرینٹ کیلکولیٹ ماڈیفائرس کین بی یوز ٹو ماڈیفائی دا فلٹر کانٹیکسٹ now we are going to look at another dax function which is use relationship which can be used to access inactive table relationships inside of calculate so we are going to look at an example where we created an inactive relationship and we are going to see how calculate and use relationship can be used to make that relationship active without us going into the data model and doing that physically so now let's go to the power bi desktop environment so i am inside the same maven market report and i am going to go in the model view and inside the model view if you remember that we had created a relationship between the calendar table and the transaction data table so these are the two relationships let me just uh, zoom this a bit so that it is more clear and more visible so here you can see that there are two relationships the relationship with the between the date and the transaction date is an active relationship and the relationship between the date and the stock date is an inactive relationship so what is this relationship essentially doing so this relationship is between the date and the transaction date so i'm talking about the active relationship so if i go in the table view and have a look at the transaction data table so here if we are pulling in date in a uh, date in any of our visualizations then the relationship that is working is between the date and the transaction date and if you remember that there is just one quantitative column here in this particular table and that is the quantity column so if we are looking at a date which represents the transaction date so essentially we are looking at the quantity sold so basically this date let's say if i am looking at this date then this date is telling me that on this date this particular transaction three quantities of a particular product of this particular id were sold but here we also have another column which is the stock date which is giving us some other information so here the information is different so here the information is that on this particular date these items came in the stock and on this particular date a transaction was possible so if i have to calculate my stock quantity then i need to refer to this particular date so i cannot get the stock quantity information by looking at the transaction date but we have seen in the in the model view that the relationship that we have is between the the active relationship that we have is between the date and the transaction date there is a relationship between the date and stock date but it is an inactive relationship so what can be done so if i have to compute the stock quantity i have the option to first come here make this particular relationship which is the active relationship inactive and then i can make the other relationship between which is between the date and the stock date as active but this does not actually help us if we are doing it for multiple calculations so for multiple calculations we would have to come here every time and we would have to change the relationship and believe so certainly this is not the recommended way of doing things so the recommended way of doing things is that you use a dax function which is the use relationship function and what that function does is that within the scope of that particular measure the measure that we are going to make uh, in a few uh minutes the use relationship function makes this relationship active so it makes this relationship active within dax for the duration of the computation of this calculation and you do not have to come here and you do not have to make this relationship active so now i am going to go back and i am going to create the a, a create a measure that computes the stock quantity and that is going to use the use relationship function so i am inside the report view and i have created a measure by the name of stock quantity and this is based on the calculate and the use relationship function so before i actually go and explain what this measure is actually doing and how this measure was created let's have a look at the use relationship function 
by looking at the definition inside the dax.guide website. So here I'm on the dax.guide website and here I have the use relationship function. So what is the definition of this function? So here it says that it specifies an existing relationship to be used in the evaluation of a DAX expression. So it ex effectively uses an existing relationship. So we already have an existing relationship which is inactive. The relationship is defined by naming as arguments the two columns that serve as the endpoints. So and this is the syntax of this particular relationship. So you can see that I have to specify two columns, the, the name of the two columns between which the relationship has been has been established. And here in this table, you can see that it has to be a primary key on one end and a foreign key on the other end. So there is no uh, order in which you can specify. You can put any uh, any column in the first place and any column in the in the second place. So in our case, we are going to build this relationship between the date table where we have the the sorry the, the calendar table where we have the date column and on the transaction data table where we have the stock date column. So now let's go and see the uh, the tax measure that has been created. So here inside the calculate the measure that we are going to use, we already have created this measure and that is the total quantity because we already know that the total quantity needs to sum. So whether we are calculating total quantity with respect to the transaction date, where obviously it means that the quantity which uh, was sold on that particular date. But here now we are looking at a stock quantity. So the measure is already there. We have already created this. And then we are using the use relationship function. And then the two columns, the two endpoints are specified as the column. So this is the date column in the calendar table. And this is the stock date column, which is inside the transactions data table. So now let's see how we can actually go and visualize the results. So I have come on a new page and I need to first bring in the date column. So I'm going to go inside my calendar table and I'm going to bring my date here on the canvas. So this is the date column. So here you see that there is this hierarchy. So if you go and have a look, this is a hierarchy which is there. So normally we do not want this date hierarchy. We actually want to see the date. So in order to do that, you have to go back into the model view. So you have to go into the model view or even you can do that in the report view as well. But uh, let me show you in the model view. You can do that in the in the report view as well that you need to actually go and select your calendar table, right? So the point of coming here in the model view is that so that you can see some of the attributes related to this particular table and this particular column. But all you need to do is you have to select this calendar table and then have do a right click on, on this. And here you are going to find an option which says, which is mark as date table. So you just go and select mark as date table so what this is actually doing, this is actually going to mark this particular calendar table as the date table and then the column, the primary key for this column, which is the date, uh, which is the date column, I am going to select this column. So here it is going to say that, okay, which is the column that you want to select. So I'm, I've given the, the column date and then I am going to press here on okay. And now if I go back, now I go back in the report view, I can see that this date hierarchy is gone and now my date is appearing as it should appear. So it is appearing as a normal date and I can go and change the format. We have already looked at this part uh, in one of the earlier videos. So now what I want to bring here, I want to bring here my measure, which I have just computed, which is the stock quantity. So I'm going to pull in my stock quantity here. So now and now I'm going to change this into a table visual. So here you can see that this is the information related to now the stock quantity. So let me just create a copy of this particular visualization so that I can I can show you the difference. So let me just select this one. So I've created a copy of this visual and now I'm going to replace the stock quantity in the other visual with the total quantity so that you understand that what difference is between these two. So now you can see that this particular table, this particular visual is telling me that on this date, what was the quantity that was actually sold. But here, if I come here, 
then it is telling me a different thing and it is telling me that these were the quantities that were in the stock. So this is the difference between the two different uh, measures. So you need to understand. So why is this? Uh, you might be thinking that why is this thing shown here? Remember that this is the example, the first example that we did, which was the Maven market. We did not create a date table here ourselves. So this was a date table that was created. So if you go and see, there are certain dates which are from 1996. So what if there is no date that specifies uh, no, no date in the dimension which specific, which relates to any date in the in the fact table then what power bi does is that it accumulates all those results like it has done here and it just shows a blank date here so i can actually rectify this by defining a few dates um, by making changes in the date table but that is not the actual objective of this video so the actual objective of this video was to show you that how you can on the fly or on the run you can change the scope of the inactive relationship and make it active so what is now happening behind the scene that this relationship this particular relationship once we are in this particular visual this relationship becomes active and now this date actually corresponds to the stock date so it corresponds to the stock date in our a data set so i have come in the table view and this is the date that now it is corresponding to so all the results that you are seeing are basically based on the stock date so this is a very important function use relationship that is used primarily to make the inactive relationship as active and it is again one of the um, features of the calculate function that you can do this inside the calculate function so that's all for this particular video and I'm going to see you in the next part where we are going to have another functionality of the calculate function.